Here is a quick overview on how to use the simulation from phet.colorado.edu called Forces and Motion. First, navigate to the website. Choose Physics, Motion. Select Forces and Motion. You will need a browser capable of supporting Java. You will have an object that you can select with a defined mass that has coefficients of kinetic and static friction defined against a wooden surface. You can define the initial position of your object. To practice force problems, you should turn on free body diagram. You should also turn on sum of forces under vectors. The puppet can apply a force on your object. You can simulate the result by pressing the play button. In this case, the force is not enough to overcome static friction. Let's reset this scenario. Let's keep increasing the applied force. Note that while we are still in the static friction regime, the frictional force will continue to match the applied force. But when the applied force is sufficient enough, we get into the kinetic regime and the object can start sliding. You can experiment with, fine-tuning your experiments with friction using the appropriate tab. You can fine-tune the object's mass 
The coefficient of kinetic friction and the coefficient of static friction as well before applying a force. Don't forget to watch the free body diagram. Finally, you should explore the force graphs. Again, you should start with displaying the free body diagram and making sure that the sum of forces is also present. You are again restricted to choosing pre-existing objects that you are experimenting on. You can check the boxes to display the values on the graph for the other horizontal forces. You can apply a force by either click, hold, and dragging on the arrow on the graph or typing in the force you wish to apply. Please experiment with the settings, especially learning the difference between kinetic and static friction and the transition in between.